Hey guys and welcome back to the Diving Squid YouTube channel. This is the first episode in what's going to be a 2D procedural generation series and in this episode we're going to look at Unity's 2D tile map system. The use of tile maps allows for quick and easy level building inside of Unity. In this episode I'm going to briefly walk through how to set up the correct tile map system for what I'm going to use for the procedural generation in a later tutorial. If you would like some more in-depth detail on how to use tile maps and what they're all about, I recommend checking out Bracky's YouTube tutorial, the link will be in the description below, and also check out the Unity blog because that's where I learned about tile maps and they have brilliant resources on there. So to start the tutorial we're going to need to start by downloading a file from GitHub called 2D Extras and this contains all the tile map info we're going to need to use. Hit the download as zip file and extract this into our Unity assets folder. You'll see this contains awesome resources which you can have a play around with if you'd like but I'm not going to be using most of these for this tutorial. Next what I've done is designed a pixel art tile set sheet which has all my tile sprites on it. There'll be a link to download this in the description if you want to use it or edit it to make it your own. I would recommend using it as a base so that you have all the necessary platform parts to be able to do this tutorial. Once you've imported your sprite sheet, set the sprite mode to multiple and set your pixels per unit to whatever your sprites are made in. For example, if yours are 8x8 sprites, set it to 8. In my case, it's 4. Make sure to set the filter mode to point and your compression to none. Next, we need to cut it up inside of the sprite editor. So what I've done is I've cut it in 8x8 squares, as that's how I've designed each tile so that every possible platform scenario is covered. This cuts up each of my platform tiles nicely. Now we're going to open the tile palette window by going to Window, 2D, and then Tile Palette. Inside of this new tile palette, I'm going to create a new palette and I'm going to call it something like Ground Palette because this is what's going to contain my ground platform sprite. Leave the grid and cell size settings as they are at default and then hit create and save inside of our assets folder. Now go into our assets folder and left click and hit create 2D tiles and then rule tiles and create a new rule tile. I'm going to name mine something like ground rule tile and then inside of our default sprite I'm going to drag in our first tile sprite in our sprite sheet just by dragging it from there to the inspector. Now drag this ground rule tile into our ground palette that we created earlier to add it to the palette. You'll see that it's added and now to test this out inside of our hierarchy I'm going to create a new 2D object and it's going to be a tile map and you'll see it'll create a grid and a tile map, that's fine. If you select the brush tool and brush around you'll see that we can actually draw on our tiles. So now I'm going to add the rules. Adding rules is a very time consuming process so I've already done this. If you'd like to pause the video and add them yourself you can but I'm going to provide a link in the description to download the rule tile. This is going to make it way easier for you and all you need to do is either use the pre-made sprites or drag in your own. On this grid I've drawn every possible platform scenario to show you that the rule tile works well. If you just decide to draw any platform you'll see that they all connect up well and all the corners show. This is the ultimate platformer rule tile because as you can see any platform scenario is covered. So no matter what you procedurally generate or draw yourself, the rule tile will work for all of it. So to make this easy, as I said, I'm going to provide a link to the tile map and to the rule tile in the description below. So check that out and download it so that you can continue on with this project when I release the next video on procedural generation and the procedural cave generation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export the ground tile set, the ground palette and the ground rule tile as a unity package. This is going to create a little unity icon and I'm going to call it ground tile package. All you need to do is download this from the link in the description, drag it into your Unity Assets folder and double click it. It will give you the option to import it. I've already got this in the scene so it won't give me the option but all you need to do is select them all and hit OK and that's all you need for this project. Make sure to stay tuned for the next two videos where we'll look at procedural land generation like this which gives you a randomised and nice terrain and also procedural cave generation which is an addition to that. Both of these tutorials will use Perlin Noise to generate these which is such a fun thing to play around with and gives you endless opportunities in your cave generation. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next couple of tutorials coming out guys. Thank you so much for all the support and thank you to my awesome Patreons. Thanks for watching.